Hello and welcome to Realm's Edge Gaming. If you've already subscribed to the channel, uh, welcome back, and if you haven't, please consider doing so. Oh, I'm so excited today, I couldn't believe it. When I was uh, checking my phone on the uh, the Facebook app for the uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, it cropped up, introducing Warhammer Underworld's first Seraphon Warband. Now, only yesterday um, did we do the um, Hammer Hall Herald for Wednesday. Um, and it was all about, we spoke about, was this the return of the Seraphon? It said how they were going to be, you know, coming soon, about Dracothian's tale, um, and that vampires, or there'll be some kind of Shaiish uprising following shortly. And we'd already had two of the Seraphon models teased, but the rest of the warband has been revealed. So we've got Warhammer Underworld's Visions of Glory, and I'll just say straight away, it is kind of everything that I'd hoped for and more. The models look absolutely amazing so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the video um but these are the models that we have been given we've already been having uh, this one revealed to us and we've had the chameleon skink we've got three other skink warriors and we've also got the i think it's the saurus old blood there and uh, honestly they, they are amazing i kind of i had thought about hopefully we'd see a croxigore as well but I was thinking, you know, today, before I kind of opened the article, maybe maybe we won't, you know, it would only be a small warband if that was the case. I think something similar to Moloch's Mob, where you had like the kind of one main character um, and then one or two smaller things around him. So in a way, you know, this is probably the best outcome in the sense that we've got six new sculpts. And if this is a sign of things to come with what Games Workshop, the design team can do, wow. Wow. I honestly can't wait for the kind of new Seraphon models that do eventually get released. So let's take a look at the video and then we'll have a look in a little bit more detail at the sculpts. We'll have a look at some of the rules as well, the reasons why that they are in diachasm um, and, and talk about the future as well in terms of the vampires that we're going to see in March, I believe, and also, you know, potential rules for AOS when these guys finally get them, because, you know what, 100%, as some of the comments said in uh, on the Facebook page, it is an instant buy. Um, they look amazing. So without further ado, um, let's have a look at the video, and then we'll come back together, and we'll talk about those sculpts and some of the rules. So Warhammer Underworld's Diachasm, the Starblood Stalkers. Wow. There we go, the Starblood Stalkers. So it says, a lizard's tail. And this is all about the kind of reasoning why they are in the diachasm setting, why they've gone to Beast Grave. Um, and it kind of gives a little bit of uh, contextual information about their purpose. It says, the slant star masters of the Seraphon have foreseen danger in Beast Grave and now believe that the living mountain could transform into a demigod that would wreak havoc across Gur and beyond. Now, we've always read our horoscopes with a pinch of salt, but it looks like the slam could be right, especially with warband like Kagra's Ravagers on the way. The Starblood Stalkers are composed of four Skink Hunters, Asaurus Oldblood, and the warband is led by Kixie Taka, the Skink Priest. I love how they've got these kind of rainbow feathers. I think there was already, a, there was one of the models, I think it was one of the Skink Starseers, um, in the Seraphon model line um, that had been painted with this effect. And I think actually on Warhammer TV, they did a tutorial on, on how to achieve it. But I really like how they've got those kind of, between the Skink Warriors at least, um, that kind of, to tie them all together, those kind of rainbow feathers, just in little little parts there, like those flashes of colours. And then we've got that kind of lovely cerulean blue to tie everyone together. And then we've got the kind of bronze 
the you know the chameleon skink obviously is slightly more drab you know as befitting of someone who's trying to blend in um i love how they've done the eyes of the skink um chameleon skink there with the um the swirls it kind of reminds me of the bad moon loon shrine um the way that was shown in the uh, gloom spike gets battle tome and also if you look really closely you can see poison um poisonous little frogs strapped to the chameleon skink which is kind of a really nice nod back to the old sculpts because I think those frogs were painted in a lot more kind of vibrant hues and colours, um, but but they it did have them on there. But honestly, I, every time I look at the warband, like I spot something new. Um, the blowpipes look fantastic, as did the you know the, the weapons there with the kind of the stone effect. How crisp the highlighting is, the saurus all blood blood looks really really imposing too. I think the the way that they've done the scales and you know it, it is just phenomenal. Um, it's a bit of a tease, I think I said this on um, on Thursday when I did about Wednesday's Hammerhall Herald, because it just goes to show what they could do if they'd have kind of reimagined the Seraphon line, and I'm really hopeful that they will in the not-too-distant future, you know, what they could do um, with that. It would look absolutely amazing, you know, so hopefully we will see that coming soon, but who knows. Um, let's take a look at some of the rules. So we've got Kixi Taka, and this is the Diviner. Now, he was the one that was leading the um, the warband. So he's got the Starstone Staff, um, and also a, uh, a ranged attack there, um, the, the Star Bolt. And it says here, with a reliable ranged attack, Kixi Taka can blast opponents off objectives or turn feature tokens themselves against enemies that thought they'd claimed them. Now... I think this one is the, the one that I'm most excited about when hopefully they are given rules for AOS um, to, to see um, that kind of get translated into the AOS game and also what he is holding there. Um, so one of the things I'm just going to skip down a little bit more is the Void Sphere. Um, so it says this Darkling Orb consumes magic and trickery. So this is going to be something that I think will be absolutely amazing in the actual Age of Sigmar game. I've skipped ahead there. I'm a bit too excited with this. So let's go on to the uh, the next one. It says it's written in the cards. Now let's take a look at a few of the Warband specific cards that come with the Starblood Stalkers. Starting with Balance the Cosmic Equation. I think that's just such a cool, cool title there for a, for a special ability. If you've got the Seraphon Battle Tome, it, you know, it's very befitting. It says, balance the cosmic equation. Many of the ways by which the great plan may be brought closer to fruition. It's a hybrid. Score this in an end phase if there are two or more enemy fighters out of action or your warband holds more objectives than any other warband. So it says, against those weaker warbands with lots of juicy two wound fighters, you can aim to take them out of action. If you're up against a smaller, tougher enemy, you can use your numbers to swarm the feature tokens and claim them for yourself. So it also says the Seraphon bring with them a new type of ploy card, which is called Asterism. These are similar to the cycle ploy cards used by the Worm Spat, in that they stay in play either until the end of the round or until another Asterism card is used. The Hunter's Steed will have your fighters moving faster than the Lizards on Hot Sand. So it says, the Hunter's Steed symbolises fierce speed and savage wrath, in the reptilian minds of the Seraphon. Plus one move to friendly fighters, this effect persists until the end of the round, or until any player plays another Asterism card. It's just a cool image that, isn't it? Like with one of the constellations. And it says we'll be taking another look at some of the other Asterism cards as we get close to the Starblood Stalker release, so keeping an eye out. And then we've got that Void Spear. And then it goes on to say, we'll be showing off some of the other Universal cards before the release. And as also, there are some of you that will definitely want to add to the deck, whatever the style of the warband that you use. Kixi Taka is also known as the Diviner, and they've brought us an unexpected gift. A glimpse into the future of the warband that will follow the Starblood Stalkers. Thanks, Kixi Taka. So, we have got the... Um, the, the, the Shaiish one, the, the one that's looking like Soul Blight or Vampires. Um, we've got, this is the Rumor Engine. I did a video on it. Um, and it is certainly looking vampiric. 
dare I say, piratical as well, with the, the kind of cloth, the high um, cloth coming up there. It looks like a kind of either a rapier or part of the coattails. Um, I love already the kind of the pose there looks really dynamic and, and very, very cool. So hopefully we will see these coming up very shortly, or at least not in more rumor engines or more Hammer Hall Heralds. So if you've uh, not already dropped a comment below, uh, I'd love for you to tell me what you think of the Warband. Will you be picking up um, a set of the Starblood Stalkers? Will you be playing it in the Diachasm game or are you going to get them ready for when they translate across to the AOS game? What did you think? Were you impressed with the uh, models or was it not quite what you hoped for? Were you also hoping for a Croxigore or something a little bit different too? Do you think we'll see the Seraphon being updated um, in the not too distant future? And what are your hopes for the um, the upcoming Shayish um, release in March? Do you think it's going to be the Vampirates or just something um, separate? I know Warhammer Weekly think it's going to be um, a small kind of tease release and then the larger army will follow afterwards. So I'd love to hear your comments below. As I said at the beginning, if you've not already cons, um, subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, I really do enjoy talking to you all and I can't wait to speak with you in the comments below. Thanks for joining me once again and we'll speak soon. Goodbye.